so I'm back. And this is what I've done to my hair. Uh, nothing special. I just took out the twist and I just put a flower right here. Just to kind of, I guess, jazz it up for this video. So I'll turn, do a 360 so you can see it. Okay. So as I was saying before about my hair loss pattern, which is female pattern baldness, and I have a paper right here. I'll post the website to where I found this information. It's just some basic information about what I have and the actual, I guess, scientific name for it is called androgenetic alopecia. It's androgenetic alopecia, which is male pattern baldness slash female pattern baldness. So what it really is, is male pattern baldness that occurs in women. That's really what it is. So I'll read just some brief information that I found about androgenic alopecia accounts for 95% of all hair loss. It can affect both men and women, although men experience a much greater degree of loss. In women, androgenic alopecia appears as diffuse hair loss occurring over most of the scalp. In men, however, the pattern of loss usually starts with the receding hairline, which then advances to the thin top of the head. So what causes androgenic alopecia, uh, it's not, they don't really know what the real cause is, but they suspect that it, it might be like a male hormone called dihistrotestosterone, which is called DHT. If you've ever heard of the word DHT, that is an acronym for di, dihydrotestosterone, dihydrotestosterone which is converted from the enzyme testosterone by the enzyme 5 alpha reductase, which, occurred, which, which contributes to androgenic alopecia in those who genetically dis, predispose. So what it is, DHT, is a dihydrotestosterone, which uh, occurs in men and women. And what happens in women is once a, a woman starts to produce more of this Te um, testosterone, it causes her to lose her hair on top of her head, but another effect of this DHT is that she can start to grow facial hair or more prominent hair in other areas of her body. So women, if you are experiencing something with this type of alopecia, most likely you have noticed some, some uh, hairs growing under here, maybe right here, they're kind of sprouting out or they're a little bit coarser or you're having to maybe tweeze a little bit more, I'm not sure, but you will definitely notice. It says that this uh, causes the hair shaft to narrow, producing progressively finer hairs with each new growth cycle until eventually the hairs become transparent and stop emerging. So that's kind of what happened to me, what I did notice with my hair was that this part I did have hair, but over the years it just kept getting thinner and thinner and thinner. So it was not a gradual, and like it was, it was a gradual hair loss versus abruptly. Uh, some treatments for this type of androgenic alopecia is minoxidil. Now my dermatologist kept suggesting to me to purchase minoxidil and use it. I'm not against using minoxidil. It's just I'm about to get married, July 9th, and. One of the side effects, one of the issues with minoxidil is that if you plan on getting pregnant, you cannot use minoxidil. So for me, once I start using it, I'm not sure I would want to see my hair just kind of fall out abruptly because I have to stop using it once I get ready to have kids. So I'm choosing to just wait till after I have kids to start using it. So minoxidil is, is one of the treatments. Uh, zinc. This says that zinc has some properties in it that could counteract the effects of DHT. Uh, so that's something. I actually, last year, I used to take zinc pills just because. And when I looked back at my pictures, I did notice that some of the hair was starting to grow back in. But then I stopped taking it. I'm not really sure why. The zinc pills are huge. And I'm not really into big pills, so I just stopped taking it. This says that saw palmetto extract is supposed to be a, a good way 
to block the effects of DHT, but even that has only been tested in a few people. There's no other scientific test to prove that. They have some other treatments for female pattern baldness, and one of the treatments, ironically, is the one I'm taking. If you look at one of my previous videos, I talk about spiral nonolactone, which is a, it's actually a high, it's actually a medicine that's for high blood pressure, but it has some properties in it that counteract the effects of DHT and also helps to reduce hair growth that shouldn't be growing in women on other areas such as the face, chin, neck, things like that, whatever you may have. So, and th this says Nizoro, which is, they actually sell this on the shelf, it's in some shampoos and it's for like an, it's an antifungal type of shampoo if you've ever had um, a dermatologist prescribe this for like psoriasis, stuff like that. This type of shampoo is actually used for that, but this is saying that it may be good to help counteract the effects of uh, androgenic, androgenic alopecia. I've never tried it, but I am willing to give it a try. So this is my brief update on the alopecia, what type I have, now that I know what type I have. In my next video, I will actually do an update on my hair growth, and then I will tell you what I've been doing uh, as a result to help with the DHT. I'll kind of show you some of the, uh, I wouldn't, I would pills that I've been taking, but they're not like drug pills. They're just like regular pills that you can buy over the counter. So I'll come back in my next video once I do my hair update. I probably will continue to get the shots maybe one more time. I'm not really sure. I haven't fully decided what I'll do with that. Uh, but as of right now, I'm just taking supplements really just to kind of help. And I will come back in a couple of weeks, maybe two more weeks with when I do my hair update, just to kind of show you where my scalp is at and just how it's doing and how it's progressing. So I hope this video was helpful. Thanks to all my new subscribers for watching. Thanks to all the people who just sent me encouraging words. I really do appreciate it. It's been very helpful. And I hope you all have a good rest of the day or evening or whenever you watch this video. So until next time, bye.